I like the vlog, dude. Thanks, dude. <laughs> But we're all here inside Gamble Yo, dude. Hello, NBA. No clue what that is. She'll be here next week. No! This video is sponsored by Jimmy Dean Sausage. All right, let's go. This is earlier than I have to leave for work, so I'm pretty proud of myself for getting up and getting out the door. We on the way. Let's fucking go, bro. This is how fucking degenerate I drive. I'm like 25 minutes into the trip and look what I just realized. Fucking mirror is bent. I can't even use that side's mirror. I didn't check before driving. I'm such a fucking dick. So Katie got me this thing for my birthday. So now I can freestyle for you guys. I'm on my sixth bullet. My best friend's a mush. Guy with the mullet hit a back door flush. My girlfriend is mad. I ate a tuna roll. Cause I missed the fucking dad's stupid funeral roll. And record at the same time. So as you can hear, I'm listening to Jonathan Little training. I also figured out a trick to save on travel time to Atlantic City. Um, it's called speeding. Hey, I just met you. I wish I got envelopes like this in the mail. If you guys want to send me cash, send your cash and poison to P.O. Box Parkour. Hey, I just oh my God, Kenny fucking Loggins, bro. I won't hold you now. Bro, look at that thing. All right, I think I got it from your GPS. Shut up. I know where I am. So we're here, but before we go in, you know what we gotta do. Parkour! <laughs> All right, let's go win. It's a $340 one day tournament, 40K guarantee. Uh, my budget's $1,000 or three bullets if I lose too quickly. All right, let's go register and sit. This floor, this whole, the whole shit, it's home. Even though they don't like me, it's a more of a one-way relationship. I'm sort of abused, but I love you guys. But that's the goal. That's the high levels of DGen wearing Borgata line clothing one day. Not quite there yet. So I think that last shot was a service dog. I don't know if this is one of those cases, but a lot of people will get fake service dog qualifications. Oh my God, here's the potential. I didn't even mean for this to happen, that's crazy. If you're someone who does that, uh, I hope you um, go blind and your children die because those are in place for people who actually need it. The more you know. Yeah, maybe the start of spring and maybe it's beautiful out, but we're all here inside gambling. Oh, also I could show you guys now. This used to say, I'm probably filming you, but I thought that was a little too much. So I changed it to say, Ryan DePaul, Degenerate Gambler YouTube, just make it a promo. Oh, this is where Joey carbs up for pressing buttons. Here we are, poker. This is, this is where we want to be. Yo, dude, who's up there? <laughs> Thank you. We got our seat, but first we got to take that GTOP. MGM Resort is proud to be the official sponsor of baseball, NBA, no clue what that is, and NHL. In the signature room, play room the signature. This is the backdrop. They'll do a big interview, lots of media for a one-day tournament when I win. This will be the pink backdrop for breast awareness, not cancer, breast awareness. Eight or ten-handed? Ten, yeah. Some more value. A few moments later. First break, only played like 40 minutes, but starting stacks 35k, we got 48k already. We flopped the set. 5-5 five, five on a board of 5-7 ace. Then it came out 3-3. Three, three. The dude showed he had 7-5 and was afraid of an ace that I had counterfeiting him. So the river killed our action, but we're playing fine. Back to Borgata slow, not many hands, so time to edit or watch a movie and stay fucking patient. It's just like a degenerate trading room floor. Well, I guess 
trading room floors are degenerate in the first place. So uh, it's kind of a redundant statement, but it's pretty pretty. But I'm excited for that big beast one coming with the three sports. And I think WNBA is like a government agency. It is after all. Katie, don't get mad. There's a better chip cut. Two hours later. All right, so next break. We're doing good. We got 86K. Hi, you want to say hi even though I'm not supposed to film? <laughs> Damn, thanks, bye. All right, there, everyone's looking at me. I'm not supposed to film in here, and I know better. I know better. So I'm here at the self-important backdrop interviewing myself. So Ryan, how's it going? Good. We're in the next break, and I have 87,000 chips. Starting stat was 35, so I'm pretty happy about that. I heard you down fell off in a couple hands. What do you have to say? I got a full more pre flop I like the block, dude. Thanks, dude. So I don't know if you guys watch the PS PC or whatever main event, the 25K, but I just bumped into the kid who hunted so hard at the feature table. Big 10. Big 10. Ooh, wow, yeah. Kennedy with another offsuit combination. 10-9 offsuit from under the gun. Kennedy limped in with 7-6. Huh. Whoa. Do you shove with it? Whoa. Whoa, Kennedy all in for almost 40 big blinds now with ace-9 from early position. That's your time. <laughs> what this guy. is happening? Oh, maybe he thinks Wait, this is... Wait, someone said You see, this is a oh, problem. Man. Oh, man. my. Yeah, oh whoa, my whoa, god, whoa, he whoa, went whoa. for it. What are they? No. Seven four? Are you serious? I'm as baffled as you are, Chris Kennedy. Thank you for coming to my TED Talk. He punted, it was an all-time punt at the feature table. I was like, yo, dude, were you the dude from the feature table at the PSPC? And he's like, yeah. I was like, wanna be in my vlog for YouTube? He's like, no thanks, I'm okay. And I was like, I, I just wanna ask you what it's like. He's like, no thanks, it's okay. So all time punt, all time punt. I think that guy just won the Masters. I don't know his name. I think that's um, Brent Snedeker or some shit. That guy, Kenny Yang, just won the Masters. That's crazy. We're getting GTO, sushi roll, the rainbow for $13. Thank you. Thanks, man. Oh, you know who that is? Jeff Gordon uh, just won the Masters. Guys, don't smoke in here, but you can shoot up. You know, you, you ask, Ryan, how do you have almost three times starting stack? And uh, one hand was we had five, six of hearts on the button. Um, player in early position raised, who's not, not a very good player. Um, another player called, I call, the flop comes 10, five, six, rainbow. The dude leads out into a pot of 4,500 for 6K. Other dude calls, and then I raise with my two pair to 16K. And then the first two jams so and I had him covered by a little bit yo there was a board there was a board I had queen king the board ended up running out like um king nine ten nine and then a jack I, I value bet to both streets the river he checked checked back and go king and I tabled my hand and people were like yo you have a straight and I was like oh fuck dude what the fuck I don't know how I missed that I would always try to get value get value from a nine all types of shit so I'm not playing the great but I'm playing good enough my not great is good enough to win. Parkour! Now we're gonna win. Something going on. They're gonna chase me, security's coming. So we're outside in the fresh air section brought to you by Newport Lights. Re-entries are over. So it's a 40K guarantee. There's only like 34K, I think, in the prize pool, which is good. I know not only play poker. When when a poker tournament guarantees a prize pool and they don't get that much in entrance, then there's free money in there. So anyway, we have like 93,000 chips. We play them fine. Parkour! So my table is all right. It's a mix. A couple good players. I'm like average in skill, but there's really bad play shaming going on, and it's very bad. Like talking in detail about horrible plays people make, and I never do that because you, you want bad players to make bad plays. Like a guy made a bad pre-flop fold, perhaps with Ace King, and they're going, "Oh, you you didn't have Ace King there." It's like, "Yo, shut up. Let him do that again." A few moments later. Wow! Oh my God, yo! What a oh, way that's to go so out. sick. That's so crazy. I saw queen queen in the window queen, on the way excited, the and then it was queen, ace. Queen, queen in the well, whatever. What a way to go out. Damn. What an exciting, heartbreaking way to lose. What's up, dude? I'm Ryan. Oh, you, I guess you know my name. What's your name? Nice to meet you, man. So we busted. It was just my time to die. You know, I don't really need regrets. I feel so disappointed when I bust because it's like I rent a car, drive out here two hours, it's far. I get really excited for tournament. I don't get to play them very many live. It sucks when I lose one. Ace, queen of clubs versus aces. I would have lost all my chips anyway on that hand unless I was much deeper and he like 
Played it super aggressive pre-flop. I'm gonna go play cash now. Security's looking at me. Let's go play cash. We're gonna play two five, no limit hold them and buy in for five hundred. Thank you. Good luck to you. Same on. Yeah. Hey guys, Brad Owen, as you can tell from the hip hop music, we're playing 2 5 No Limit, Texas Hold'em. First hand we get is Ace 9 of Diamonds under the gun. The Ace is like the highest card you could get in the game, and we have position on the two blinds, so we raise this panned up. Now, before the flop was dealt, I picked up a live read on the player to my left. Uh, he wasn't in the hand, but I noticed that he looked like Pete Rose, and we had to see bet. With our live read, we go ahead and see bet and take down a nice little pot. I'm very hungry at this point in the night. And I'm very sad that I have to fold while thinking about noodles and sushi. Now we get a hand and we have the butt. That's one of the best positions in all the poker. But first, I had a quick question for the dealer. Queen Mississippi straddle here or whatever? Only New Jersey straddle? We look down at ace two, but with a Jersey straddle, it's just not playable. Now we look down at ace king. Someone has raised to 25, so we... Raised uh, 80. We raised to 80, impressed this kid, and two people call. We take a flop three ways. I don't remember the exact flop, and I didn't write it down, but I think it's 8, 10, 5. It's a great flop for us. We block all our opponents 8s and 10s and 5s. It checks to us, and we bet 100-something. With this bet, we're hoping to get all the sets and made straights to fold. One player folds, one player calls, and we see a turn of Jack. It checks to me, and I decide to check back, given that I'm afraid. Now the river's another jack, so the board is 8, 10, 5, jack, jack. He checks to us, and we're stuck with a tough decision. How much do I want to donk off? I come up with 175 as the perfect amount for how much this player will still always call. I hate all these fucking reds. 12 seconds later. Our opponent calls and shows 9, 8 for second bottom pair. A set? No. Oh, good call, man. We sat down with 500. We're now down to 200. I think we need to top off, so we throw out a hundred. No, no, green, please. Thanks. I can bluff it off faster this way. I hate this room so much more. You can't shuffle the chips. It's so much darker. It's so much more degenerate, and I'm only here after I bust the tournament. Now, with my short stack and awful table image, we're ready to play some cards. We look down at 4-3 suited and decide this is a good hand to play. In an effort to play our cards as face up as possible, we make it 10 instead of our usual 15. You always want to go very multi-way to flops with marginal hands. There's action and we're forced to fold. Now we look down at ace-king, but we sadly realize that ace is actually a four and we'll have to fold. Now we get some bad hands and must fold. I'm feeling like a douchebag from the failed bluff and I'm very hungry. This must be how New York Poker King always feels. Damn. We ponder his existence for a few minutes, but then we get dealt a hand. Ace, king of diamonds. That's a good hand. There's a straddle and we decide to raise it up. We make it 35. Then there's one other caller to our left and a player three bets to 185. It's a big bet and we snap jam. He's obviously never folding and we're hoping for a flip, but we want a degen. He calls and we ask if we want to run it more than you once. Do you want to do anything just once? He goes, I only do it once. And I'm like, yo, this is like when you ask someone for a lighter and they tell you, I don't smoke. It's like, yo, I, well, I don't give a fuck if you smoke or not. I asked you for a lighter. You don't know what I'm going to do with it. Like, I asked if you want to run it once this hand, not what you normally do. We flop an ace. Five ace king. He says he needs a jack. Oh, wow. Gets one. You have a set of jacks, obviously. Damn. We see the bad news of his pocket jacks, say oh, goodbye to the table, oh, and we dust it off a cool 600. So, we saw that Ace King let us down twice. That Ace King hand is such an example of why I shouldn't be playing at 2 5 with that shortest stack. If I had 100 more, he probably folds because the 4 bet jam. Jax is not calling, so I'm only doing that with Queens Plus and Ace King suited. So I should have topped off more and just played one two. We just lost 600 in cash. <laughs> lost 340 in the tournament. We got a little bit left in our budget. I want to play some video poker before we leave, so we might have to go over. What can you do? Like whatever, dude. I played fine in cash. That bluff was fine. Just unlucky. I'm not. I'm not even depressed. I'm more depressed about the tournament. Yeah, I want. What? This doesn't even tell you your balance? It's funny. I guess if they know if you see your balance, you'll be like, Damn, I'm really spending way the fuck too much. 
so we're changing it. We're looking for a stupid slot. We are looking for a motherfucking stupid slot, bro. We're gonna play Buffalo Gold, bro. This is all the rage the other year or whatever. We're gonna play. All right, let's go. Max bet, bro. It's the only way to do life. Don't know what I'm rooting for. I don't like this song that's not GTO. Oh, that's good, right? Don't we get free shit for that? $8 and they're trying to give me that whole thing. Oh shit, oh, I won eight free games. All right, let's go. I feel like I did it. I accomplished something. Nine free games. That's nice of them. Don't know what I'm rooting for. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa. Holy shit. Oh. Yo, I like Buffalo Gold, man. Stupid slots, you are the GTO move after you lose poker bluffing off. A nice little rebate of 350 already. I would say that went well. Dude, I would say that's a pretty clear slam dunk win. How degenerate do you have to be to still be sitting here after you just won $350? All right, we're cashing out of this. Now we got a video poker budget. Woo! All right, so we're playing $2 credits and we are gonna play a little bit of Deuces Wild, all right? We haven't played that in a while. $200, $10 spin, and we are gonna do like this. It's a little bit, I don't know why I'm talking so fucked up. It's a little too fast for us. I don't like no sound. Ding! All right, we're switching games. Let's switch machines all together. All right. Oh, nice. This one's fucking loud. This is what we need. Double Joker poker? No, let's do Super Bonus Deuces Wild. Joey liked that. Dude, I don't know why I'm all over the place. Oh, we ain't giving up. All right, so now this machine knows we mean business, guys. See? Oh, nice. That's great, flopping a boat. Let me get a club. Yes. As much as we want to degen out, it says keep the, keep the two pairs. You gotta do GTO move. Alright, they kept us alive long enough. Alright, so we put back 300. So we're exactly where we're at. Alright, we're gonna play this shit. Oh, it's 680 a spin. I might wanna put more in. Eh, hey, whatever. They're gonna give me this whole song for fucking nothing. Watch. Oh shit. I don't know what's the GTO play here, guys. I don't know what. My heart just felt that. I'm feeling this the way they had the wild. $6.80 a spin, and you're giving me this whole fucking thing for $20. Oh, Two hours later. Alright, now let me get a real jump. Alright, we're switching. So we gained 50 on that back. It took us like like 20 minutes of work, but we got 50 back. It's like tandem bicycles, like a two-person slot machine. That's cute, that's romantic. Maybe Katie and I will do that one day. I really should go home to my lovely wife and kids, but I wanna keep gambling more. I've been here a while after the tournament, but I'm just kidding. Katie's watching Game of Thrones with her friend, with her girlfriend, so we still gambling, bruh, 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 bruh. What is this? That, that catches my degenerate eye. I wanna read about this. It sounds kinda like it's Ultimate X, but on that hand, but you need to flop it or some shit? I don't fucking know. Oh, you know what? We'll play some spin poker. A few moments later. Okay. Oh, shit. Let's go. 
Let's go. Flush. It's a royal flush, dick-ass machine. It's just still so pretty, even though we didn't really, you know, win much at all. It's just still so pretty. Alright, so we won back 50 again or some shit. Let's go more video poker. What is this shit? Pick a pair? I don't know what this is, but we're gonna play a little bit. Wait, what? What, what? That's it? What the fuck is this? Why am I still playing? Double double bonus poker plus. What is that? Woo! Trying to make a little royal poop. A few wrong plays never hurt anyone. Okay, so it's close. The positive EB, the better one is to hold the pair, but we're degenning. And it didn't work. Come on. Fuck. Wow. Last spin. It's a Hail Mary like this. 12 seconds later. I just, I just off camera bet one credit, 25 cent. That's like the most depressing part of any trip, betting one credit. All right, we're playing a little hee haw, motherfucking key to the hall. Just trying to get a lot of corn. It's just for show, it didn't even work. Wow, the reel spins so fast, it's so satisfying. Like, I'm just lost. I haven't won anything back yet, not even remotely. Like, I'm feeling extra chasey right now. We're down $1,200, but I'm feeling like so fucking like chasey. But I feel so, I'm not gonna make it out of here without putting another 100. I'm feeling like another stab will work. Total sick degen thinking. All right, we're playing this shit. I like how, I like how it looks. Fuck this game. That noise, there's the noise of those dominoes being shuffled. When you walk through Chinatown, I used to live in Chinatown, that's all you fucking hear is ch -ch 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 of Mahjong being shuffled. I will right, we'll play Dreams of Egypt real quick. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What? Right off the rip, we got something shaking. Great, a great win. 78 bucks is a, is a... What the fuck? All right, I'm cashing out. All right, we'll play this crap. Yo, you know life sucks when you bet less than that. Fucking failed. So we're out. We were just in a degenerate wormhole. We played all those slots. I've never played so many. My rationalization is that I wanted the points. My real reason is that I was just in degen mode. But I do separate it, right? I only think I lost like 250 in real gambling. That shit was just destiny. That shit you chalk up to the game. The other shit you chalk up bracket to point getting. So it's like productive. <laughs> Very productively, $1,200. It's like, no, no you didn't. So all in all, it was a bad day. But you know what? It's springtime, guys. That's it, bro. Your mom's a hoe. All right, guys, so that's it. Please subscribe. Uh, please like. It really helps if you like it. I work hard on these, and it helps in the YouTube algorithms. Thank you for watching. And even though I haven't posted recently, I'm working nonstop in the lab. Shit coming.